The Russian military witnessed a significant event in the new year of 2022. The Tu-160M2, which is also referred to as the White Swan, completed its inaugural flight. The advanced capabilities and strategic implications of the Russian Tu-160 bomber, which is also referred to as the White Swan or Blackjack, have prompted substantial apprehension in the West as a result of its modernization. The Tu-160M2's improved capabilities present a significant obstacle to Western defense strategies. The strategic balance in regions where these bombers are deployed could be disrupted by the bomber's capacity to launch multiple hypersonic weapons simultaneously, which could potentially overwhelm existing missile defense systems. The aircraft is a critical asset for Russia's military objectives due to its operational range and payload capacity of 45,000 kilograms of ordnance in its internal weapon bays, which allow it to conduct long-range missions deep into adversary territory. The Tu-160M2 is capable of delivering hypersonic missiles such as the Kh-101 and nuclear-capable Kh-102 and is equipped with the most sophisticated electronic warfare systems. The Tu-160M2 is an enhanced version of the original Tu-160 bomber, which initially entered service in 1987. This aircraft is distinguished by its capacity to achieve speeds of up to Mach 2, making it the world's largest, heaviest, and quickest nuclear-capable bomber. The modernization program is designed to improve the combat efficacy and operational flexibility of the military, particularly in the context of escalating geopolitical tensions and military engagements, such as those involving Ukraine. The United States has systems that are capable of competing with this aircraft, particularly the Northrop Grumman B-21 Raider, which is currently in the development phase. Countering is different from competing. The United States military will require a substantial upgrade to its air defense systems in order to effectively counter the Tu-160M2. The bomber is distinguished by its variable sweep wing design, which allows it to maneuver effectively at high velocities and reach supersonic speeds. Russian President Vladimir Putin flew aboard one of these aircraft, demonstrating the suitability of its new systems for use in the armed forces. The Tu-160 is widely regarded as a remarkable engineering achievement by numerous experts. Although some of the aircraft's production technologies had been partially lost, Russian engineers were able to not only restore them, but also improve them. In the 1970s, the development of an unusual supersonic bomber missile carrier started, and the combat aircraft's state trials were concluded in 1989. These aircraft were deployed by two aviation squadrons in 1991. A total of 21 aircraft were deployed for combat purposes. The Tu-160, which is equipped with variable sweep wings, continues to be the most potent and largest supersonic aircraft in the history of military aviation. The aircraft is also the fastest bomber in service and has the highest takeoff weight. The Tu-160 set 46 world records. 30 years later, this unique aircraft has been succeeded by the Tu-160M. Resuming engine production was one of the primary obstacles to the restoration and modernization of the strategic bomber missile carrier. The White Swan was upgraded and equipped with Kuznetsov Design Bureau N3202 engine units, enabling it to ascend to the skies. These engines differ from their predecessors by their more efficient fuel system and blades that have been specially coated. These enhancements substantially reduced the aircraft's thermal signature, which increased the difficulty of targeting by hostile systems that depend on heat tracking. The maximum afterburner speed was increased by 200 km per hour or 124 m per hour, reaching 2,400 km per hour or 1,491 m per hour, and the maximum flight range was extended to 13,750 km or 8,544 miles without refueling as a result of the engine modernization. In contrast, the American B-2 Spirit Bomber has a maximum range of 11,000 kilometers or 6,835 miles and a maximum speed of not exceeding 1,000 kilometers per hour or 621 meter per hour. The Tu-160M is equipped with an enhanced fly-by-wire control system in addition to engine enhancements. Even the slightest deviations from the established course 
can now be rectified by a new onboard computer. This substantially improves the aircraft's stability during the execution of missions and maneuvers. It is speculated that a comparable system is in the works for the US B-21 Raider. However, the American aircraft will operate at significantly lower speeds and lack active maneuverability. The TU-160M2 is equipped with a unique jamming system that is automatically activated when sensors detect hostile radar targeting. A swarm of virtual objects is generated by this system in the vicinity of the actual aircraft. The precise mechanism of this system is still unknown. The aircraft necessitates an exceptionally robust structure to accommodate huge loads. The successful welding of the first titanium spar in 2017 was a significant milestone as titanium welding technology was considered partially lost and required restoration by Russian engineers. A modern onboard armament control system is another unique characteristic of the TU-160M2. The new onboard computer has the ability to calculate an optimal action algorithm and recommend that the personnel transition to automatic control until they reach the target, even during the data input stage. This enables the delivery of a diverse array of munitions, such as conventional and nuclear weapons, over longer distances. The aircraft is engineered to conduct deep penetration missions into adversary territory, thereby bolstering its function as a strategic bomber. The TU-160M is a Russian Federation pride, boasting distinctive technologies that are presently unavailable in the West. Now, do you think the TU-160M2 is the deadliest bomber of today? Let us know in the comments. Please like and share our videos and subscribe to our channel. Please also take membership in our channel to encourage us.